the GPU you've been waiting for might be just around the corner. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So there's been leaks and rumors of a 3070 Ti that have been going around for a really long time now, and it seems like it's all started with a 16 gigabyte variant that a lot of people were very, very excited for, and you know, rightfully so, because 8 gigabytes just doesn't seem like it's going to be cutting it for that much longer, but we'll talk about that in a little bit, and unfortunately it seemed like a little while ago the 16 gigabyte variant of the 3070 Ti, or 3070 Super as some people were calling it, had been cancelled, and then shortly thereafter we got another rumor of a 10 gigabyte variant, I believe this one came from Coppa. 7 Kimi, and this 10 gigabyte variant of the RTX 3070 Ti would supposedly be based off of the same GPU found in the RTX 3090 and 3080, which would be the reason as to why it would be allowed to have that 10 gigabytes of VRAM as it would have a 320 bit bus instead of the 256 bit bus that you find in the RTX 3070 right now. Now, unfortunately, it seems like there has been no further updates on the 10 gigabyte variant of the RTX 3070 Ti, and the last leak that we heard it actually only showed an 8 gigabyte variant of the 3070 Ti. I believe this leak came from videocards.com and this 3070 Ti would have, you know, the same 8 gigabytes of VRAM. However, it would be GDDR6X. And although that would make a faster GPU, it would probably be uh, in the range of 5 to 10% faster than the current RTX 3070, which of course, you know, that would be good if it comes in at the same price. But if it's more expensive, uh, yeah, I don't think that that's going to be a really good deal. And again, you're still sitting there with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. So a lot of people, including me, were very disappointed by that leak. However, there is a new leak, another 3070 Ti leak. And and this time, we are once again talking about the 16 gigabyte variant. So it looks like we've come full circle now, and this leak comes from the Twitter user Unico's Hardware. Now, I've never heard of this Twitter leaker before, so I don't necessarily know how credible he is. You know, unlike, uh, say, Cop87 Kimi, where I very much trust that Twitter leaker. So, you know, this could end up being not true, and I'll talk about reasons as to why it could end up not becoming true. However, according to Unico's Hardware, he states that there's going to be an RTX 3070 Ti based off of the GA104-400 dash a1 of uh, the same gpu that was leaked by videocards.com just recently and this gpu would come with both an 8 and 16 gigabyte version so yeah 16 gigabytes that's definitely good to see i hope that we do get that 16 gigabyte variant uh it would make a lot of sense in terms of you know where this gpu is positioned i mean if it comes in at say uh 550 or 600 us dollars which is more expensive than the 500 dollar msrp that you get on the 3070 i'm hoping that you would get more than just you know five or ten percent more performance hopefully what we end up getting here is a 3070 Ti that comes in at $500 and replaces the 3070 because I think that the 3070 and 3060 Ti are a little bit too close in terms of performance so if they give you an 8 gigabyte 3070 Ti uh, for say 500 US dollars I think that that would be good and then maybe for 550 or 600 US dollars you can get a 16 gigabyte version of the 3070 Ti and both of them would have the fully unlocked GA104 die allowing you to get just a little bit more performance and of course if you do want to hold on to a GPU for a little bit longer the 16 gigabyte version is definitely going to hold up a little bit better as the years go on and I would certainly recommend that you buy the 16 gigabyte version over the 8 gigabyte version in fact if you've been waiting for an RTX 30 series GPU that, that would definitely be the GPU I would go for I mean I would say uh, I wouldn't buy really any other graphics card over that I mean a 16 gigabyte version of a, of a 3070 with a little bit more performance just seems like the absolute sweet spot especially if it comes in say between 550 to 600 US dollars assuming that you can actually buy it of course we don't necessarily know if that will be the case uh, hopefully within you know about two months here as it looks like video cards is saying that it's going to have a similar launch date as the RTX 3080 Ti at this point they're saying around uh, sometime in May so hopefully two months from now the demand does lessen a little bit and you might actually have a chance of getting a video card because right now it's really really difficult uh, but if you do have a chance that definitely would be the card I would go for because again you're talking about you know faster than a 2080 Ti but 16 gigabytes of VRAM so that's definitely a really really good card and I would certainly want one for myself however there are a few reasons as to why this GPU may actually not pan out. Now, the first red flag for me is, you know, if it is using GDDR6X, which does seem to be the case, at least according to this leaks, well, I don't necessarily know if there are 16 gigabit modules of G6X. Now, I do know that they have 8 gigabit modules, and you know, I, I think that that can be uh, proved by the point that you look at the RTX 3090, and at least at the time that the 3090 was created, it seems like they did only have 8 gigabit modules, because if they did have 16 gigabit modules, they probably wouldn't be putting 
putting memory modules on the back as uh, putting memory modules on the back of a GPU, it does get a little bit harder to cool. So I would uh, assume that they would probably want to put a bunch of 16 gigabit modules and put them on the bottom of the card rather than eight gigabit modules on both the bottom as well as the top. So yeah, I don't think at least when the 3090 was created that they did have access to 16 gigabit uh, GDDR6X modules. However, that may not be the case today. It could be that there are actually 16 gigabit modules available now. However, again, I don't really know. I haven't uh, been able to find any evidence to suggest that. But again, that could be the case. Uh, so that's the first red flag. I don't necessarily know if they could actually do it. The second red flag would also be, you know, would it make sense for them to make a 16 gigabyte version if they're selling these eight gigabyte uh, versions as fast as they can create them? And there is supposedly, or at least I had heard that there was a G6 uh, shortage going on. I don't know if there's a G6X shortage. That's probably the case as well. At least I would assume that that would be the case. Uh, so if that is the case and there is a G6 shortage going on right now, which makes a lot of sense considering, you know, how hard it is to get components for really anything right now that's uh, related to technology. Well, then in that case, does it really make a lot of sense to create a 16 gigabyte version? Uh, and again, if NVIDIA is selling every single 8 gigabyte version that they can make, yeah, it, to me, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, why take, you know, double the amount of VRAM and make half the cards if that is one of your limiting factors when you could make double the amount of cards with half the amount of VRAM and sell them for nearly the same amount of money? So, yeah, to me, it, it seems like from NVIDIA's perspective, if I am looking at this and there is a shortage, which maybe there isn't a shortage of G6X, maybe they have a surplus, that could be the case. Um, but if that is the case, if there's a shortage, I probably would be looking at this and going, no, we're not going to create a 16 gigabyte version because not only is it going to be hard for us to get these 16 gigabit modules in mass and actually produce a whole bunch of these, but on top of that, uh, I think one other final reason as to why NVIDIA may not want to create this GPU is the fact that, you know, if they are going to try and incentivize you with the next generation of graphics cards to get a, you know, a uh, faster video card, uh, even though you already have a really fast video card in the RTX 3070 or an 8 gigabyte 3070 Ti, now one of the factors that they could swing you over with is a card that has more VRAM. So maybe the 4070 has 12 gigabytes of VRAM next time. And in which case, if you already have 16 gigabytes of VRAM, well, you're going to be less incentivized to upgrade. So I could definitely see them taking that angle as well. Or if you're someone who needs a lot of VRAM for some sort of production workload, they may want to direct you towards the RTX 3090, which is a, you know, at this point, it's going on the used market for 3000 US dollars. However, it does uh, retail for about 1500 to 2000 US dollars, depending on the RTX 3090 that you purchase. Uh, so I'm assuming that they would also want you to spend, you know, say another thousand dollars versus buying a 3070 uh, with 16 gigabytes of VRAM if you do need that extra VRAM. So it seems like there's not really a lot of reasons as to why NVIDIA would want to create this card uh, other than making gamers happy, which, you know, I hope that NVIDIA wants to make gamers happy. I hope that that's their main goal. However, you know, they are a business and making money is going to be their main goal. So whether or not we're going to actually see the 16 gigabyte variant, you know, who knows? But at least according to this leak, it looks like this could be a possibility. And I do really hope that we see the 16 gigabyte card because guys, if you've been waiting for a card, this is definitely going to be the one that I would recommend. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that NVIDIA is going to make a 16 gigabyte version of the 3070 Ti? Or do you think they're going to stick with eight gigabytes? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.